Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Foreign Affairs. What engagement or consultation was undertaken with Tangata Whenua in preparing the government's submission to the United Nations Commission for the Limits of the Continental Shelf, and what was the response from Tangata Whenua on the proposal to extend New Zealand's maritime boundaries? The Honourable Murray McCulley. Speaker, I am advised that New Zealand's submission to the United Nations Commission on the Limits of the Continental Shelf in 2006 was a highly technical document presenting scientific data relating to the depth of sediment and geology of underlying rock on the seabed. Its purpose was to demonstrate how the legal definition of the continental shelf in the United Nations law of the sea applied to the specific geological features of the seabed beyond 200 miles from New Zealand. For that reason, no consultation with stakeholders occurred. Now that decisions have been made by the Commission, the Government will ensure that the relevant orders in Council are passed in the coming months. At that point, responsibility for administering the rights arising will pass to a range of domestic agencies. The Government would expect them to conduct appropriate stakeholder consultations at that time. Rahui Katane. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What consideration has been accorded to New Zealand's compliance with Te Tiriti or Waitangi in negotiating maritime boundaries with countries on which New Zealand's continental shelf overlaps, including Australia, Fiji, Tonga and potentially France? The Honourable Murray McCulley. Mr. Speaker, I'm advised that officials have not yet commenced boundary negotiations with Fiji or Tonga or potentially with France. Uh, however, a maritime boundary was successfully negotiated with Australia in 2004. Updates on that negotiation were included in the list of treaties under negotiation that's always placed on the MFAT website and circulated uh, in hard copy form to affected parties, including Māori groups, every six months. Information was also included in regular newsletters uh, published by Land Information New Zealand. No matters were raised uh, by interested parties with officials during the course of those negotiations with Australia. Rahui Katane. Thank you. What are the implications of the new extended continental shelf for the customary owners of the foreshore and seabed? The Honourable Murray McCulley. Mr Speaker, uh, I am advised that the process I have described will not change customary rights to the foreshore and seabed. Question number three, the Honourable Clayton Cosgrove.